Recently, I decided to start doing some cybersecurity competitions. And one of the challenges I've seen pop up on a lot of them is cracking MD5 hashes through Hashcat with the Rocky word list. I tried looking around and getting information about this, but most of the stuff I found was very, I don't know, general and didn't explain it very well, especially for somebody new like me. So I'm hoping today I can explain it to you in a way that makes it nice and easy to understand. Quick disclaimer, the information in this guide is for legal purposes only, so please do not go crack your neighbor's passwords or anything like that. Please only use this if you're doing pen testing on something you have permission to do or if you're in a competition or something like that. Now that that's out of the way, this is a beginner's guide on how to use Hashcat in the Rocky word list to do a dictionary attack on MD5 hashes. So a dictionary attack is when a computer uses a word list to try and crack the hashes rather than using a brute force attack where it just tries guessing randomly. And the reason we do a dictionary attack rather than brute force is because it's much, much quicker. Let's say you do a dictionary attack and it takes, I don't know, a couple of seconds to a couple minutes to crack. If you were doing a brute force attack, where it was having to guess every single character, it could take hours to days. A dictionary attack is just much, much, much faster. The one downside though, is that if you don't have the word on your word list, the dictionary attack will not get it. So the brute force generally will figure it out eventually, but it's gonna take a much longer time. So a lot of these capture the flag competitions will have a challenge where you use Hashcat and the Rocky text file to decrypt MD5 hashes. So this will be very good to know if you're planning on entering one of those. So now onto the fun stuff. You can do this with Windows, but personally, I don't really know how to do it. So I suggest if you don't already have it, download either Kali Linux or Parrot OS and run them on a virtual machine inside your machine. Both of these are Linux distributions that come with a ton of pen testing tools already pre-built in. It really saves you the headache of having to go around and download this or that, because generally if you need a tool, it's already there for you. So Hashcat should already be installed, but just to double check, you can come to your terminal and type in Hashcat minus H. And what that is, the, the minus H means help. So once you press enter, boom. If it's installed, you will get the help list right here. So now that we know Hashcat is installed, we need to make sure we have the other part, the Rocky word list. This is another thing that should come pre-installed with Linux or Parrot, but let's just double check to make sure we have it. So generally you could do it from the command line, cd forward slash user forward slash share forward slash word lists forward slash, oops, put two S's there forward slash, then enter. Now we're in the folder, which is the word list folder. Then we press LS and boom, we can see it right there. We have the rock you text. So just in case people aren't too familiar with how to use the command line, we'll come up here to the top left, open folder. Let me make sure that's out of the camera. Come down here to file system, then to user, share, scroll on down to word lists. Boom. And there we go, right there, rockyou.txt. That's the file we're looking for. Or like I showed it in here, right there. So we're all set up with those two. Okay, so the only thing we need now are some hashes. So what we'll do is we'll go over here, go on the internet and just search for an MD5 hash generator. And we're also gonna need a text file open so we can save them in here. Now what we're gonna do is use some very common passwords so that way we have some good luck with them being in the Rocky word list. Okay, so first one, password, generate, copy that, paste it in our document or our word file. Next, we'll do I love you, generate, copy that into the text file. Third one, princess. I promise you, I looked up what some common passwords are. These weren't on the top of my head. Generate, copy, Paste it there. And the last one, we'll just do some numbers. 654321. Generate, copy, and put that into our Word file, or our text file. So now what we're gonna do, file, save as, and we wanna make sure this is in our documents folder. So what we'll do is we'll come here to documents, and we'll save it as hashes.txt. I already have one in there, we're just gonna save over it. So hashes.txt inside the documents folder. So just double check you're in there. 
save, replace. All right, now that we've got that saved, we'll head back over here to our terminal and we wanna make sure we're in our documents folder. So we'll type in CD and then documents with a capital D. And what that does is it changes us to that directory. Boom, CD documents. And it shows you right here that you're in documents. So then LS, cause that shows us everything that's in the directory. And boom, right there we have hashes.txt. So we'll go clear and we're gonna actually run hashcat now. So hashcat minus M. So for the mode, we're doing MD5. So we put a zero here cause we saw it on the list earlier. And then dash A, we do that for the attack. So this is a dictionary attack, so we type a zero here. And now the important reason we are in the documents folder is now we put in the file that we want to crack. And since we are already, since we saved it in the documents folder and we made sure our terminal was here, we don't have to type the entire directory for it. We just do hashes.txt. But now we have to run it against the Rocky file. So we have to type the entire path to the, to the directory forward slash USR slash share dash word lists forward slash rock u dot txt so if we ran that right now it would give us our results right there in the terminal but what i want to do is actually make it output to a text file so what we do now is dash o and that's the letter o not the number zero so just make sure you type in dash o and then we're going to call our new file cracked dot txt so instead of just printing our results to the terminal, it's now going to put it in that crack.txt file in the documents folder. So let's go ahead and run that. And it's going. Boom, already done. All right, so let's clear that. Then we'll ls. Boom. Crack.txt right there. Well, we can open it from the command line, but let's just go ahead and go into the documents folder. Boom, crack.txt. And right there. Password, I love you, princess 654321. It's just that easy. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully I explained it well enough for y'all to get it working on your end. And I understand the editing's a little rough. I'm still learning. So please bear with me on that aspect. But if you like what you saw, do me a favor and like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll get some new content out soon. Thanks y'all.